We hope you've enjoyed being back in your boat and back on the water again. Um, now that you've spent some time sailing around, you might like to add a little bit of structure to your session or change how you have been structuring your sessions. A good place to start is with a review of your sailing um, and, and the skills that you use around a race course. Um, and a good way to do this is by evaluating each element that you use or each skill that you use um, with which areas are your strengths and don't need that much work and which areas are weaker and need much more work. Um, you could do this visually and draw a, um, a course and then add on the, the type of maneuvers you do around the course um, and then do a red, orange and green for which areas are your uh, weaker areas or your stronger areas. Um, and you could also do this for different types of wind strength. So even just light, medium and, and strong winds. And that will give you an idea so that when you plan your session, you can have a look at that, see what the wind's like um, and decide which areas you want to work on. From your, your review of your sailing, um, you can then hopefully uh, use these five steps to power into practice. So number one, identify an area to work on. Look back at your review um, and decide what that area is going to be. Number two, describe the specific maneuver or skill that you want to work on. And, and remember there needs to be really specific. So tacking, that's too big. Is, is the tack need to maintain speed uh, throughout? Does the tack need to have, um, does it need to be a roll tack? Does it need to stay flat throughout? Um, is it the main sheet handling that you need to work on? Is it the crew moving across the boat um, at the same time as the, the helm? Um, whatever it may be, make sure it's really specific. Um, and it has to be something you want to work on. If you don't want to work on it and you're not going to enjoy it, then don't do it. Or if you're not going to be motivated to work on it for like two hours, don't set that as something. OK, just go. We're going to go and do this for 10 minutes um, and we'll be motivated to do this. And it also needs to be achievable. So if you're going out to work on roll tax and it's a 12 to 15 knots of wind, it might not be the most appropriate um, goal. So make sure that you've described the specific move maneuver um, or skill that you're gonna work on. Um, and yeah, specific, motivational and achievable. Number three, explain what you want to achieve um, and what successful looks like. So you might wanna draw a diagram and add labels or verbalize, speak your intentions out loud. Um, when we do that, uh, it kind of helps focus what we want to work on um, and plan and also commit to our goal. You might have a video or a photo of what success looks like and that's fine, um, but the important bit is that you you know what it is that you're aiming for. Um, the fourth thing that you, you can work on is to identify where you're going to get feedback from. Um, feedback is any information you receive about your sailing um, and it could be from your rudder, from your sail, from your hull, from your controls, from other boats if you're working on boat speed or from other sailors um, and, and asking them to uh, notice what you're, you're seeing. You get feedback, your eyes can give you feedback, your hands, your feet, the feel of the boat. Um, all of these things give you feedback that you can use to try and gauge how successful and how close to that, uh, that, um, that visual of success looks like. So the, the important bit about feedback is that you're measuring your performance. You're not just saying, I'm going to go and do 10 tacks and when you've done 10 tacks, you're done. You're saying, I'm going actually to try and get as much roll on my boat as possible, even if that means capsizing, because you know how far you can go um, when you're trying to roll tack a boat. Um, so you need something that's going to give you feedback. Now, if it's about rolling a boat, it might be that you can see the, the dagger board or the center board when you roll it. It might be that water comes halfway up the side deck. It might be that you get a little bit of water in the cockpit. Something that will give you an idea of, um, of how well you're doing about, against what you want to do. Um, and the important bit about feedback is once you've got that feedback, i.e. the water has come massively into the boat and you've capsized, you've probably gone too far or your, the side of the deck of your boat is, is really quite dry, so you're not going far enough. So you need to use that feedback each time you practice that maneuver to help you improve and know what you need to be improving on. And the fifth thing um, is you need to just decide how you're going to review your performance um, and also decide when you're finished with it. So it might be a, a score. So you want to make sure that when you do five tacks, three of them have um, enough roll on them. It might be that you're going to give yourself a time limit that of just 15 minutes and that's going to be enough. You don't have to stay out for a set amount of time just working on one thing. You can have a few different goals um, that you decide what it is you're going to work on. And you say, right, I'm going to do 10 minutes and then just have five minutes of a break, 10 minutes, five minutes break, 10 minutes, five minutes break, 10 minutes. 
it doesn't matter. There's no magic number. Just because you're in the water for a long time doesn't necessarily mean um, in, in that one session that's going to make all of the difference. Okay, so um, yeah, so break it up. You might want to write these down um, and stick it to your book. Someone have it on a bit of paper in your life, maybe paper, maybe not that great, but you know what I mean. I have it written on something you can have in your life jacket and then you can pull it out and um, see how you're doing against it. Um, but yeah, five top tips, starting with an evaluation and review of your, your sailing, then work out, identify the area that you want to work on. Then describe the specific focus, drill it down to exactly what you're working on. Then um, explain what success is gonna look like. You might have a photo, you might have a little video, something in your mind that you're aiming for. Um, identify where you're gonna get your feedback from. That's really, really key. Otherwise you're just going out sailing and, and you will improve. But if you work out where you're gonna get your feedback from, your improvement is likely to be um, quicker. And that's, that's great. Um, and then the final stage is decide how you're going to review it. When you're going to wrap it up, um, but also when you're going to review your feedback um, and, and make some changes um, to it. And as I say, you can pick three or four areas you're going to go and work on for that session. Um, and it doesn't just have to be one area for the whole time. Because the main thing is it's, you, you've got goals that are specific, you've got goals that are motivational, and you've got goals that are achievable. And in that way, your sessions and your sailing can keep getting better um, your sailing can keep improving um, and you can keep practicing the skills that you need for the time that comes when we are to go racing whenever that may be uh, and some of your clubs may be back already so that's great and you can put some of this into into pressure environments on the race course um, but happy sailing and have a great time